Hi, this was the first annual report. Urban water suppliers around the state assessed their supply and demand and also evaluated what kind of actions they'll take if it continues to be dry. Now, of some 400 reporting agencies, the majority said they believe they'll have ample supplies to meet projected demand in the coming year, even if it's dry, as long as current conservation efforts continue. But roughly 20% projected a potential shortage. This includes LADWP, the Metropolitan Water. Water District of Southern California, which supplies water to many agencies, and the Los Virginis Municipal Water District, which covers the area that includes Calabasas and Hidden Hills. Mike McNutt from Los Virginis Municipal Water District says if we don't get help from Mother Nature, they may have to move to a stage four response. Their projected shortage is at least 63%. There's enough available water to provide indoor water usage for people. We call it health and safety water supply. So there's enough water for that. If we get to a point where that is starting to be even more challenged, the only thing that we can do is just ban outdoor watering completely because the most important uses of water are for indoor usage. We haven't gotten to that point yet, but Anybody that's listening should be prepared and should fully understand that this is a historic situation that we've never been in before. And this is painful to watch. A water main break yesterday and a smaller one today in Calabasas. The water district says these things happen with aging infrastructure and they rush to shut the water off as soon as possible. Now here in LA, DWP reported a potential 30% shortage, but with conservation efforts that are already in place, as well as record low usage this past summer, they do not anticipate any more restrictions as of now, or I should say additional restrictions. Reporting live in Las Villas, Kimberly Chang, KTLA 5 News.